they call it a moat. I call it a lake. It's a moat. I don't know. You can call it what you want. It's five acres of water, uh, less the area of the house that sits in it. Miami architect Charles Seeger has taken his passion for old world architecture and manifested it into one of the most unique homes in America. The nearly 20,000 square foot Chateau Artisan was modeled after the 17th century French Chateau, Vaux la Vicomte. Being an architect, you're, you know, you're inherently creative. When we bought this place, it was just this vacant, abandoned tomato field that had no trees. At first, I just designed this house, and I put it on the site and looked at it and it went, it disappeared. I got a problem here. What am I going to do with the rest of this place? Charles knew he had to fill his 14 acres of surrounding property with something, so he started with trees. So I said, let's plant the trees first, do the boundary, set up the border, control our view. Still, there was something missing, and that something was water. I should make the water. I can control my view. I can control what I'm looking at in the morning. Just how and where to put the water in relation to the house was another quandary for Charles and his wife, Joanne. Is it beside the lake? Is it on top of the hill? What is it? Returning to the great chateaus of history for inspiration, Charles was captured by a particular French structure called Chenonceau, which in the 16th century was home to one of King Henry II's mistresses. What Charles loved most about the chateau was that it wasn't just built on the water, but over the water. The river runs under the Chenonceau, and I love that feeling. When inspiration hits you, sometimes you just got to go for it. I put the house in the middle of the lake, so the house became this island. And then I looked at it and it still looked lost. I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do these gazebos out in the water where we can dine on the south one, sleep on the north one under the stars, and have stepping stones going across. And that'll take it and tear it apart visually. And so that made the house feel bigger than it really is as well. So it all added together. And the koi pond being close, the lake being close, the house being an island in the lake, the pool being in the lake, the, the water fountain, the feature in the ruin, cascading into the lake, it all kind of ties together into this scenario of water. The entire property is so breathtaking that if you don't look closely, you might miss the swimming pool, which lies, fittingly, in the middle of the moat. We just took some tile, some granite in this case, and tiled the surface to get that very rectilinear right angle part that fits more with the quality of what the house is about. The fountains, statues, lush greenery, topiaries, crumbling ruins, courtyard, patio, and wildlife all serve to make Chateau Artisan an experience like no other. So what's next for Chateau Artisan? We put it up for sale recently because uh, I think we're done with it mentally. It's, we've lived here six years. We took five years to build it, so it's an 11-year trek. But, you know, we're ready to, uh, you know, do another one.